YouTube, this is Rebecca Diva coming at you with another video. But before I get into this video, if you're new, hey, welcome to the channel. All I'd like for you to do is go right on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, please hit the notification bell and please select all. Therefore, every time I upload, if YouTube is not bugging and tripping, tripping and bugging, you'll get notified. Hit that share button for me because sharing is caring. There are no secrets over here on this channel. That's why we tell everything. And I do mean everything. And go right on ahead and hit that like button because you're going to like me. I'm a whole vibe. And for everybody else, welcome back, Diva Gang. Please, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, it is Thursday afternoon, 3 o'clock. Um, I've been trying to upload videos since yesterday. Me, my computer being messed up is really a big problem. And it's like, at this point, I have no extra funds to go get it fixed because it'll be taken away from something from the kids. So, I'm just going to record using my phone and edit with um, iMovie and leave it at that until I can work on my computer. Hopefully, I'll get some time this weekend so I can work on my computer or get one of my friends to look at it. I don't know. But I'm going to just jump right into this video so this video won't be so long because my phone, when the video gets long, the phone doesn't want to upload it and it's just be so much a mess. <sighs> But this is a reaction video, so if anybody got a problem with reaction videos, you don't want to see the video, you're going to be in your feelings about the video, you can just exit stage left because your view is really not needed. Bye-bye. Okay, now that they're gone, we're going to be talking about my jazzy life, of course. Um, only thing that I wanted to touch on was that she really, 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 really needs to get up out her feelings when it comes to the comment section and people making comments. Because I'm going to put it to you like this. Being in the social media um, realm, whether you're an entertainer or an actor, singer, or, you know, a vlog, a daily vlogger like her, like, you, when you put personal, private things on social media and make them public guess what people are going to make public comments some of these comments might be nice but for the majority of the time if the content that you're pushing out is negative or if the majority of the people feel that the content that you're putting out is negative then guess what people are going to say negative things in your comment section yesterday she posted on instagram um Somebody had left a comment under the virtual baby shower um, video, a comment stating, because they said at 17 minutes and 22 seconds on that video, Jasmine had referred to the baby as Kobe. Talking about he had two of these. It was some little gadget or something. And um, the person was just in utter disgrace that she would name her child Kobe after the late, great Kobe Bryant, you know. They was basically like, how dare you name your child such a, basically a successful name when you and your baby daddy couldn't live out your dreams as hoopers. And um, they basically called her baby a bum, her unborn child a bum, which was it reaching. I mean, they, they were reaching a little bit. I mean, the baby is innocent. The baby did not ask to be here. The parents are very careless, but it is what it is. She, I felt that she can't get mad at that on the fact that it is that people are going to feel how they feel, especially since you always got your hand out begging. She don't refer to it as begging, but everybody else referred to that as begging. Every single time you get pregnant, you're putting up a registry. Every time it's time for a holiday, you're putting up a registry or you're throwing in your windows. I can't do this and I can't do that. and I'm going to have trouble doing this and I'm going to need help doing that. It's like people get tired of that. It's like your channel was not about that in the beginning. And it's like ever since old boy got locked up, Philip got locked up. And it's like every day I was like, your hand is out. Your hand is out. Just because you know people will do it. If you really don't need it, why ask for the help? I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious that you have money. You just put it like this. Why well, spend my money when I can spend theirs? That's that's how I look at you and see. It's mighty funny. Every first of the month come, you got to go pay bills. Like people who get paid on the, or get their government benefits come out on the first of the month. So welfare checks, SSI checks. And I personally feel, Jasmine, 
gets welfare benefits because the kid's father is incarcerated, so she would qualify. And them twins, okay, are obviously developmentally delayed, so she can get um, SSI benefits, and she probably does get SSI benefits for those kids. So that girl got more income than just YouTube, you know, coming in. YouTube gets paid on the 21st of the month. So, really? Yeah, she got more money than what people think she have. She not that broke, and I feel that people are dumb and stupid for buying all of this stuff off that registry because who puts all of these high-ticket items on registries? Most parents will buy their own crib. They'll buy a bassinet. They'll buy, you know, the stroller, the car seat. They're not going to put that on a gift registry for people to buy because, once again, those are high-ticket items, you know. But no, she, she has no morals at this point. No morals whatsoever. You know, she's going to keep it. And just like long as people keep funding her lifestyle, she's going to keep pushing out babies. You know what I mean? You know, this time next year, she'll be trying to get pregnant again by Chris or the next dude if Chris decides to stick around that long. I personally feel Chris is not going to stick around that long. He's probably at the end of it right now. <laughs> you know, um, but she really needs to. And then the girl goes on. Um, Instagram last night, yesterday evening, I think it was about 7, 8 o'clock my time, Eastern Standard Time, in the evening, and she was fixing dinner, she was making tacos and stuff for the kids, um, and, like, people were dog walking her ass in the comments section, like, literally, woof, woof, just, so, she got so tired of it, that she actually was smart enough to figure out how to turn the comments off on Instagram, and she t end up turning the comments off because people were just coming at her left and right, left and right, left and right, and it's like people are gone. People are going to speak their minds, and that's what she don't seem to get. They gonna feel a certain way. They gonna say certain things. They gonna they gonna speak their mind. Period. And there's nothing that she can really do about people speaking their minds on the shenanigans that she got going on. You know, I felt there was no me and a lot of other people feel like there was no reason for you to get that registry. You just had babies, two babies on top of that three years ago. Where's all of that stuff that you had from the twins? Oh, I know. You keep fucking moving. So, because you keep moving and can't afford movers and U-Haul trucks and stuff, half that shit you can't transport. So, a lot of that shit you throw fucking wet, which is sad. That's people, people are gifting you things. And you use it for so long and then throw it away. Like, girl, her whole life is a mess. Like, really. Her whole entire life is an absolute mess. And she needs to get it together, seriously. Like, mm -mm. I can't, I can't, I don't understand a person like her. Like, she just has no moral values. Like, nobody ever taught her anything. And... It seems like she come from a good family, I mean, but looks are deceiving. Who knows? I just feel at this point she needs to really take a look, sit back and take a look after she has this baby and get her life on track. She needs to go get a real 9 to 5 job. That's what she needs. We don't really care about babysitting issues and the reason why you can't get child care and this, that, and the third. We don't care because guess what? You have a whole deadbeat ass nigga living in your fucking house. If he works overnight, then guess what? When he come in, take the baby, take the twins, and you can go your ass to work. There's no reason in the world why you cannot work. You know, and it, and it gives you better satisfaction of going out there, getting a job, and making your own money, buying your own stuff. You know, I just don't get it with females like her. They just live off the system. If they're not living off the system, they living off of people. It's like, it's just ridiculous. Like, totally ridiculous. And then she wants to get all up in her feelings and get mad because people are dragging her through the comments. I don't blame them for dragging her through the comments. You know, she walks around here and she just thinks that she's so, you know, like she's, she, she's, she's supposed to get shit from people. You know? And she does not give back to anybody. I've never seen her do a give. I've heard her mention giveaways before. But anybody that has actually won something from her and actually received a gift from her, y'all need to speak up and come into your girl's defense. Because I don't never see her do anything, give anything. 
she'll never get back to nobody ever and that's fucked up because she got a lot of subscribers over there a lot of people ride hard for her a lot of people do and it's just she's just a user that's all she the way that nigga chris is using her she using her um uh, subscribers but that's all i gotta say y'all i just wanted to put my two and a half cent worth in and bring y'all some content for the day stay tuned for more videos until then bye